What up after Buzz, it's your boy DJ Jesse. We're here with Roxy Stryer at the Vegas Bash. We're here with the Challenge and also Real World San Diego, Miss Sam. What's up, guys? All right, Sam, you just got off the Challenge. What can we expect this season? I mean, there was some drama with you and Frank. And last we saw on the, on the show, you and Frank were cool. You know, me and Frank, we have matching tattoos right here. You know, we have matching tattoos, and like he is a good friend of mine. He is. Let me say. But. What? Tattoo. Right there. But, you know, when he gets into my social life and my love life with my girlfriend and calls my girlfriend's name, my girlfriend names and stuff like that, it's wrong. On no matter what level it is, whether you're a reality star or you're not, it's wrong in life. And that's where I think, you know, he and I had a misunderstanding. And as of right now, I want nothing to do with him. You know, that's and your friendship stands? yeah, I mean, he and I will forever have a bond that nobody else will. <laughs> and we will forever have these matching tattoos. But at the same time, it's, you know, you cross the line that I don't think I can ever forgive you for. And so, yeah, we may have been best of friends before, but now it's gonna be like that awkward moment when you walk in the room and you see your old best friend with some other girl and they're like besties. It's like, you know? So going into it with, uh, who did you connect with most on the, on, on this season of the challenge? Like obviously new, new bonds kind of had to be made. You weren't really close with Ashley, but in the fight with Zach on top of Frank, it seemed like you and Ashley kind of had each other's back. Well, yeah, I mean, Ashley and I, from San Diego to now, have made a lot of grounds. You know, we have earned each other's trust. We have, you know, talked. We've become actually friends and not just like roommates. But also, you know, I'm really close with Derek from Cancun. He and I will forever be best friends. And it, you know, it, we, we didn't get our tattoos together, but we still have the same tattoo, you know? And the gays will forever stick together. You know, whether it be Preston and I, or Derek, JD, me, Frank, anybody that's been, you know, even Nani and like Anissa. Anissa and I are good friends. We just met tonight. You know, Anissa and I are good friends. But at the same time, it's like, being gay, homosexual, lesbian, whatever you want to call it, you have a bond that nobody can understand. And you get the shit talking, you get the the uprising, the downfall, you get all that. So, I mean, i become a lot, a lot closer with the gays on the challenge. I know Roxy was going into it. She had a, a, a lot to say about your season as you was the player of your season. Well, I just wanted to ask you, I mean, seriously, the first day we see you guys getting a huge fight. So is there more to see of that? You're saying you're still not really speaking to Frank. So what's going on? Or is there more to come? You know, with this season, it's a lot different from my San Diego real world season. You know, my real world season, I was single. I didn't give a shit. I didn't yes, care. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, I had a book. You heard about the book on the reunion. I had a book of everybody that I hooked up with. There was over 35 girls on that list. Like, I was like balling with girls. Like, I'd bring two, three, four home at a time. But the difference between that season and now, I have a girlfriend, very serious. I live with her. You know, she's, she's the love of my life. And until, you know, from my, the end of my real world season until now, like, she is, she's my everything. And like, I don't see tomorrow without her and if I do, then it'll be the death of me. That was so incredibly cute, by the way. No, but I'm saying she's here, so you obviously are doing well. You're living with her, like you're saying. Does this cause big fights for you when Frank says things like that? Does she talk to you? Is she pissed? And is that part of the reason why you're so upset with him? Because he's causing turbulence. It wasn't that. It was the fact that my girlfriend and I went to Myrtle Beach. Like, it's eight and a half hours from me. I drove there. To be with him, Alexandra, Priscilla, and him for his mom's birthday. He invited us to his beach house. My girlfriend, Sarah, like, met him. He, they were cool. His family loved her. They loved us together. And so the fact that he said that shit on the challenge, it was like a whole, like, different kind of backstabbing 
than he ever could do with me. Like, they were fine. He made a promise to her. Zach also made the same promise to her and my family that they would do as well as they could to keep me in as much of the challenge as possible. So, you know, in, in the first episode, you see Frank call her a fat bitch. She's not. She's the, she's not. No, both of them have seen her. Like, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? He's just jealous because his boyfriend's a white boy rapper. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. Vanilla Ice. Remember him? One hit wonder, bitch. On that note, After Buzz, we want to thank you guys for tuning in here at the Vegas Bash. Thank you so much, Sam. Peace out. Buzz you later.